Welcome back to Late Night. Are you ready? Are you ready for the premiere of the Paluliwed game? Yeah. We have our two couples competing. We've already met Lewis and Noreen. If we can have our other two contestants introduce themselves. Uh, my name is Tom Smith. I am the artistic director of PLU Theater, and this is my husband, Kevin Andrew. <laughs> And how long have you two been married? Uh, seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. And how long have you two been married? Uh, uh, coming yes. up on 20. Yeah, 19 years. Yeah. Advantage right Hobsons. College, Advantage baby. Hobsons. All right, are you ready to play the game? What's going to happen is I'm going to ask our contestants a question about specifically referring to one person in the relationship. They're going to write what they think the other person is going to answer, and then they're going to turn their cards around one at a time, and we'll see how well they know each other. You get one point for getting the answer correctly and zero for not getting it correct. <laughs> so, are we ready, contestants? Yes. yes. So this is a question for Tom and Lewis. Who would you cast to play Noreen or Kevin in a movie? So I'll have you turn so that you can't see what the other person is writing. Tom, if I could you swivel your chair just a little bit. Other way, Tom. <laughs> Other way, Tom. <laughs> so as you've got about 15 seconds to write your answer. Aren't you in show business, Lewis? I know, but I, I'm terrible at names. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm going to write the character name. This will All right, both of you are writing the answer, by the way, so you have to write what you think Tom would say. Yeah, so Kevin's, Kevin's got to write fast. I know. I mean, I, yeah. What's the question? The question is, uh, who, would, who would play you in a movie? Who would he say you play in, in a movie? Or who Wait, plays you? Sorry. Who plays? Who plays movie? Kevin in a movie? Which, like, actor? Oh, uh -oh. Mm -hmm. what, what actor plays me? No, no, no. no. Noreen. Uh, Noreen. Okay, great, great, yeah, I Noreen. Any, any more clarity questions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tom and Noreen know what's going on. They're ready. <laughs> All right, we're waiting on Kevin here. You've got five seconds, Kevin. <laughs> the confidence is oozing from his face. I, I can't think of his name. Uh, oh, no, this isn't it. Um, Three, um, two, uh, one. Well, we can have you say your answer if you can think of it. Okay, okay. All right, we'll bring it back together, couples. Noreen and Tom. Noreen, if I could have you reveal your answer first, grab the microphone and read us what you wrote there. We've got Tina, Tina Fey. Fey. We can pass it to Lewis and see what Lewis has put okay, here. I put Scully. Uh, <laughs> Scully. Um, but yeah, is that, yeah, I see that one. Okay. No points for the Hobsons. 20 years, I don't know, I don't know. All right, we have, we have our answer. Kevin, you scribbled I, yeah, something. I, I saw think. that, I saw that. All right, Kevin, if you will grab the microphone and reveal what answer you've written. Who you think would Tom? Who would play Tom in a movie? Oh, play me? Yes. Oh, I was. Confused. Oh, I totally got it wrong. <laughs> who would you cast me? to play Noreen or Kevin in a movie? There you go. Yes. Yes. yes? We're good. Then we're good. Okay. So who would so play Kevin? Oh, yes, yes, got Kevin. it. George Clooney. Yes. <laughs> Tom, what do we have? I will say, in younger days, Kevin looked remarkably more like George Clooney. <laughs> I still look like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so we've got 1-0. Tom and Kevin are in the lead. I will try to be more straightforward right. with this next question. Right. So this next one is also referring to Kevin and Noreen. So, if you were caught in a house fire, what is the one thing Noreen or Kevin would grab before leaving? So swivel your chairs, make sure we can't see anything. If you were caught, if your house was caught on fire, what is one thing that Noreen or Kevin would grab before leaving? All right, we've got about five seconds. All right, three, two, one, that was not even close to five seconds. That was much more time than that. Are we ready? Yes. All right, let's start with Tom on this end now. Tom, what was your answer? I wrote, I hoped it would be me, <laughs> but it's probably going to be, fam like sorry, it's probably going to be family photos. Okay, family photos. All right, what do we have, Kevin? The safe. <laughs> you wouldn't bring oh, Tom, you grab the money. I grab the money. Everything you need to know about the relationship. <laughs> there are family pictures in the safe. Oh. It is true. It is true. 
All right, no points. No points for Kevin and Tom. <laughs> Louis and Noreen. Uh, I wrote kids mementos, but he's already laughing, so that's not a good sign. All right, Louis, what did you flip? Well, I'd like to actually have the kids, and, and not just the memory of no. the kids. So I'm going to grab the kids first, so that we actually have something to remember them. In our defense, our kids are old enough to walk out of the house. I, I think that they're out on their own. That is my assumption. Oh, yeah, but you did—you grabbed something to remember them by, like specifically. That's what you grabbed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. All right. I think that counts. The, yeah, the word was in there at least, but we're not going to give it to you. We're not. So the next question is the third and final one, referring to Noreen and Kevin. If someone told you Noreen or Kevin was an ex-convict. What would it be for? That's a thinker. That's a tough one. I'll give you a little more time. We'll say my rough 15 seconds. <laughs> um, read it one more time. Uh, if someone told you Noreen or Kevin was an ex-convict, what would it be for? What, would the, what crime would you have committed? Oh my gosh. 10 seconds. So good. <laughs> I don't know what I even do. Um, all right, we're getting down to five seconds. Three, two, one. Write in the answer quickly. All right, all right, are we ready? Let's time, let's, let's, time, let's start with uh, Noreen. Let's start with Noreen's answer. If you could just pull the microphone right out. So I totally am a person who eavesdrops on other people's conversations, so I would assume that it's spying. Spying. Are you writing right now? <laughs> I, I was clarifying because it didn't really make sense. I just wrote stealing, but I, I clarified by robbing a bank. Oh. I don't know. That she seems doesn't like, play little. Jazz. The no. Monopoly thing. But I like that. I like that. You know yourself pretty well. <laughs> All right. We have a chance to go up by two here. Tom's got the microphone. Let's start with Tom. Originally, I wrote killer good looks. <laughs> But change it to shoplifting clothes. All right, all right. Let's try the next. Clothes. Try I put theft of theft food. Theft of food. <laughs> I'm with Kevin. I'm with Kevin. I like to have food. <laughs> all right. It's still it's still anybody's game, really. It's one zero. Oh, are we all the paper? No. Okay. I thought. No, good. No, good. Plenty. Good. Good. Dina's on top of it. <laughs> All right, this next one is now about Lewis and Tom, okay? What is the first thing that Lewis or Tom would buy if they won the lottery? What is the first thing that Lewis or Tom would buy if they won the lottery? Looks like another thinker for Kevin over here. <laughs> let's, let's say we've got 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, all right. The Hobsons, are we, are we good to go? Are we good to go over here? Yes. All right, let's start with Kevin this time. All righty, I said a trip to Kauai. A trip to Kauai, Tom, what did you say? <laughs> Hawaiian vacation! <laughs> it counts! It counts! <laughs> That's Isn't it zero. sad that PLU doesn't pay enough that I have to wait and win the lottery for that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we feel you on that one. We feel you. All right, Lewis and Noreen, we're not looking very confident. Uh, we're not. We're not. <laughs> we're going to start with Lewis. Lewis, you want to grab the microphone for us? Great. Uh, house. Oh. If it's lottery, it's a beach house. Beach house. I think that counts. I think that counts. Yeah. What good sports cheering him on. <laughs> Yeah, 2 1. It's 2 1. Yeah, we'll see what happens after they lose the lead. If they lose the lead, sorry. <laughs> the next question What word would Lewis or Tom use to describe Noreen or Kevin's family? So, what word, yeah, yeah. What word would Lewis or Tom use to describe Kevin or Noreen's family? Kevin knows right away. He's writing right away this time. <laughs> All right, give you about 10 more seconds-ish. Sam, 10. Five more seconds. 
three, two, one. All right, let's start over here with Noreen this time. Noreen, what word uh, would Lewis use? I wrote use? loud or talkative. Okay. Loud There's or a lot talkative. of us. Okay. I wrote crazy, but that, I think that's, <laughs> that, that's, it's describing the same thing, but I don't really think. <laughs> Noreen's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Tom, let's start with you this time. Uh, th I, this was not very good. I wrote awkward. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Interpret as you will. It's very true. And I wrote non-confrontational. Same very line much. of thought, but not good enough. Same line of thought. All right, score still 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Tyler. So this is the sixth. <laughs> This is your win. They're beating you. They're beating you. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to tell me something. All right, this is the final, final one. So Tom and Kevin, if you get this question right, it's over. It's done. Lewis and Noreen, you have to get this right. We'll go into a tie-breaking, I don't know, like an arm wrestling match or something. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right. So. What is Lewis or Tom's signature dance move? Which goes back to the beginning of your relationship. There's a lot of pressure there. Uh -huh. What is Lewis or Tom's signature dance move? <laughs> you can, if, if the one word doesn't totally work, you can describe it a little bit in the microphone. Actually, I know exactly how we're going to do the tiebreaker on this sure. one. I've got a really good idea of how we're going to do the tiebreaker. <laughs> All right, looks like we're just waiting on Kevin. <laughs> Tail as old as dog. <laughs> I got a lot to say. I'm <laughs> All right, so, Tom, you've got the microphone. You seem to be ready. What is your answer? Uh, not a very good one, but I'm going to say the hustle. The hustle. It's an old that is, move. That is Tom's favorite dance move. And I put um, standing in place, moving his arm. Oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is like... Well, if his students are out there, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like the hustle the if you... If to you... burn his husband. That's what goes on. Exactly. All right. Oh. If you get okay. this correct, you tie it up. We go into our tiebreaker. It's, it's the down the drain dance. Wait, you got to show them the yeah, thing. Yeah, you show them. The down yeah. the drain dance. Okay. No, I can't. Well, not, not, hold on. Wait. Uh, hold on. Got it. Got it. I... All right. Tom. This is... Tom. And Marie, not good. please hand the microphones to your significant others. Hmm? No, please. He's got to show the dance. Are you? You're doing your dance move. Yeah, it's Lewis, okay. Lewis and Tom or Kevin. It's, it's my bad dance you, move. All right, it's Tom and Kevin. Yeah. We need you to put the microphones down, uh -huh. come up stage, and audience, can we please give them a beat? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, Let's see them. So Let's this, see this dance move makes no sense, but for some reason, I used to do it. For some reason, it's been a long time. So let's just like stretch out a little bit. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> hold on. He was on Broadway. Oh! Oh! That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It's been a long time. Very good. Tom is unfazed. This is the dance that my sister taught me for my very first junior high dance, so that I would look like I know how to dance. <laughs> Let's get that beat going again. Ooh. He's doing Kevin's, he's doing the standing with the arms. All right, audience, let's hear it. Do we want Tom's standing arm dance? Yeah. Or Lewis is down the drain? We have our winner. We'll be right back with, with Will Jordan right after this. Give it up for these guys. Give it up.